What's up, y'all? This is Jeremiah McPherson. I think we on day 107 of Mortal Kombat training. I forgot to check before I started the camera. But I think it's a day 107. I remember doing, I think I remember 106 yesterday. Yeah, we on day 107 of Mortal Kombat training. We got 1,825 days of simple disciplines. We got 1,825 days of studying. 1,825 days of building myself and teaching myself how to think. 1,825 days of working out. 1,825 days of boxing, 1,825 days of doing porn, 1,825 days of tracking my calories, 1,825 days of going to work, 1,825 days of consistently working, 1,825 days of sticking to my values, 1,825 days of keeping it pimping, 1,825 days of staying so icy on these bitches, 1,825 days of journaling, 1,825 days of recording content, 1,825 days of reading and listening to audiobooks, 1,825 days of Mongo mentality, 1,825 days of working on my strategy. We got a few things that I'm grateful for. I wrote in my journal today. I'm grateful I got another porn done yesterday. I'm grateful I was able to get a few new things to make some new porn. I'm grateful for the money I make doing porn. Plan 5150, having my values and disciplines have been good to me. Fuck these hating ass rappers, celebrities, and groupies. Uh, fuck the game. Fuck Stephanie Santiago. Fuck Kim Kardashian. Fuck Sauce Walker. Fuck Drea. Fuck Tiger. Fuck Anthony Gallo. Paul Xavier. Fuck Puffy. And fuck Jocko Willick. I love my art and my job and what I do. My workouts, my disciplines, my values. And so um, I'm going to cut this video right here and then I'm going to record my rewise. This is read wise for today. Uh, this is for my NASM, uh, not sports nutrition, my um, per certified personal and training course. Uh, industry events, events, industry events, and networking. Another way to market a fitness business is by attending fitness industry events like conferences, trade shows, or workshops, and networking with other like minded fitness professionals. Reminder that some fitness professionals may prefer to work with a specific population of clients. So getting to know those specialized individuals can open doors for professional collaboration. Each can refer clients to other based on their respective unique skill set. In scenarios, instead of competing, each fitness professional business becomes elevated and all succeed. Another benefit of attending industry events is that many are also marketed to fitness consumers and other members of the general public, creating opportunities to market services to a wide audience. Health fairs and fitness expos provide good opportunities for certified personal trainers to attend events where a number of consumers are interested in learning more about exercise. Additionally, instead of simply attending as a participant, fitness professionals can often volunteer at industry events for even closer access to industry leaders. Working at an event also provides numerous learning opportunities without having to pay the expenses, event, fee, expense, event fees. In addition, many events that offer continuing education units will provide them at no cost to the volunteer who staff the event. And this is from my sports nutrition coach course. Over 90 different behavior change techniques exist, all of which can be used to bring about a desired outcome. The suitability of each behavior change technique should be evaluated based on the specific intervention being applied. And this is coach's corner. I'm going to stop this one right here and then get to the next one. And this is from my sports nutrition coach course, Coach's Corner. Regular intake of high dose, one gram per day antioxidants like vitamin C are, are thought to blunt some of the aerobic adaption to endurance training. The sports nutrition coach should carefully consider the use of vitamin C supplementation during periods of training where adaption remains the focus and may wish to consider doses towards the lower end of the above recommendations 
um, 250 to 500 milligrams per day. So that's vitamin C supplementation and antioxidant. It's saying it um, blunts the adaption and endurance training. And so you want to, um, the adaption and endurance training, it says usually take place in the beginning of training camp. And then once you get certain adaptions, you can train a little bit with, with a higher intensity. Um, growing mitochondria. So um, the body can produce more energy. And a few other adaptions. I'm still learning those, but it's fun learning these, this new, these new things. So let me read a few quotes for the day. This is from Napoleon Hill. The way of success is the way of continuous pursuit of knowledge. And let's see. This is from Miyamoto Musashi. There is nothing outside yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. Everything exists. Seek nothing outside yourself. And let's see. I like. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, I'm going to use this one. When in a fight to the death, one wants to employ all one's weapons to the utmost. I must say that to die with one's sword sheeted is most regrettable. Miyamoto Musashi. And so uh, we're on day 107 of Mortal Kombat training. We got the 1-2 drill and the 5-10-5-10 drill. So we're going to get this done. I worked, studied already. So, um, yeah. It's almost a wrap. We're just going to do this workout, and then it's a wrap. I'm probably going to edit some videos. Or, or no, I don't think I, I just got to load some videos, and yeah, but um, got some new videos out on Pornhub, and um, you can go to X Videos, X Hamster. Um, this is day 107 of Mortal Kombat training. Hey, let's do this. Let's enjoy this. Get this short shoulder endurance up. Jeremiah McPherson. This is Jeremiah McPherson. Hallelujah Johnson. Right back at you. One, two, drill, and it's the open version of that drill. And what we're going to do today is 25 seconds of punching a post one, two, just like this. We're going to do five second rest after 25 seconds. We're going to do it for four rounds with one minute rest in between. This is a drill that helps you work on shoulder conditioning and punch endurance. We call it the classic one, two drill because it's so common in boxing gyms all across the country. All right, so remember, we're using punch recognition for this drill. And this drill only calls for straight punches. So you have to throw a straight punch. If you're hitting that wing and hook just to get your score up, it's not going to count. Let's get started with this drill in three, two, one. Let's go. Ones and twos at the back at a nice, sustainable post pace. Again, we're going for 25 seconds straight. We're going to do a five second rest after 25 seconds. We'll do that for a full round. We'll take a one minute rest and we'll do that for four straight rounds. And rest. Make a new little boxer balance or do something active during this rest. And let's get back into it. Feel free to play with the cadence a little bit and step it up. You feel like you have the endurance. Just keep it at a nice steady pace. All that's important is that you keep punching throughout the entire drill. And two, one, bounce. Shake out your shoulders and get back into it. <clears throat> punching like this, round after round, and make sure that you have enough shoulder condition and your punch endurance to last throughout the whole fight. You do not want your shoulders to die out on you if somebody's coming at you in a fight. And two, one, bounce. And get into it. There it is. Make sure when you do this, you punch nice and high. As you start to feel it in your shoulders, start to have that tendency to start dropping your hands a little bit. Don't give in to that. And rest. 
Bounce with me now. Shake out your shoulders. Back in here. I like to draw a straight line from my nose straight to the bag. Picture a little imaginary dot there and punch at that level the entire time. These ones and twos, you want to punch in a straight line straight out and bring it straight back to your face. And bounce. One, go. Close out this round nice and strong. I want us to punch straight through for 35 seconds this time. And we're going to go right into a, a one minute rest right after that. Keep going. We got about five more seconds. Four, three, Two and one, rest. Shake it off, take some deep breaths. How we feeling team? Let's go. All right. Shake out those shoulders. Get yourself nice and recovered. Again, this is such a common drill in boxing. It's something that I did first day in the boxing gym with this one two drill just like this and I did it all the way up until my final training camp and as you do it it gets harder so you want to you want to be able to challenge yourself more and more as you get used to it so that it gets harder this is the open version of this drill if you get really used to this it starts to feel really good when you do this it's not bothering you do the intermediate version that's the next challenge all right we're going to get started in eight seconds keep moving Face your back and start punching. <clears throat> Be able to get into a zone when you're doing a drill like this, especially at a coast phase, because it's not heavily anaerobic. I want you to just go to a happy place, try to regulate your heart rate. Just put one hand in front of the other. Now rest. And go. If you can find little moments where you give me just a little burst, only sneak those in there. That's how you get better. The important thing is that you just keep punching throughout this entire four round drill. Three, two, one, rest. And punch. Straight out, get the bag, straight back to your chin area. Three, two, and one, rest. <clears throat> and back into it. Another tip here, technique wise, to keep those elbows in. Common mistake you see with this drill, and just when people are throwing straight punches and they're brand new to boxing, is the elbows will come out like this, like chicken wings. You want to keep those tucked into your body. You throw the punch, it comes right back to your, to your body, your elbow does. And rest. <clears throat> As Shaney always says, last one, best one, let's go. 35 seconds now. Five seconds. 
two, and there, one. Good, deep breath, shake it off, stretch out their shoulders, help to get that rocky ass in there, putting them up over your head like this. And again, what we're doing here, I know everybody's feeling the burn in their shoulders right now. When you punch through that burn, that's how you unlock levels and build that endurance, okay? And you shake it out. The drill that all the greats, a lot of the greats do this drill, even Floyd Mayweather. If you watch him doing his bag work, you'll see him doing this over and over and over again, round after round after round. This right here. He actually does five and ten minute rounds straight in his sparring and his training, and that's how he builds up that endurance. All right, ready? Ten seconds. We're going to hit it again. Round number three. Face the bag, a little boxer bounce, get moving, let's start punching. Boom, let's go. That's it. Straight out and straight back. <clears throat> Two, one, and bounce. And punch. It's very easy when you start feeling the burn in your shoulders. You start practicing core technique. And you start punching too low. Make sure you're still punching at head level. Three, two, one, bounce. Into that next one. Let's go. Two, one, and rest. Shake it off. And let's go. What I like to do with this fight camp bag, it's a good practice, is to find the spot on the bag where my head level is. For me, it's the G on the fight, where it says fight. So I'm always going to try to punch at that GH level right there. That's a good little marker for you at home if you're wondering where you should be punching. And rest. Shake it off. Go. Five seconds. Two, one, shake it off. And now we get the last one to close it out. In this round, 35 seconds, let's go. Or 30 seconds, rather. Three, two, one, five more seconds. Four, three, Two, one, good. All right, last round, best round. There we go, let's go. All right, recover, 48 seconds. We have that fourth and final round. Your shoulders are burning right now, as they should be. So are mine. How about you guys? <laughs> shoulders, are, shoulders are burning. But we're doing this workout with you. We're all in this fight together, of course, we're in your corner, and we're punching through this with you. So if you dig deep right now, punch through the pain, and you're gonna unlock leverage, okay? Again, once this becomes very, very, very easy for you, I challenge you to hop into the intermediate version of this classic one-two drill, okay? Deep breath. Get that oxygen in your lungs. <clears throat> Eight seconds. We'll get started. Three, 
two, one, let's plug through it. There it is. Now I'll never forget my first day in the boxing gym at Boston Boxing. I went there and I'm going to a boxing gym. I'm gonna fight today. They're gonna put me in the ring, I'm gonna be sparring with somebody. Right? That's what everyone's perception is. And then when the trainer put gloves on me and told me to do this for however many minutes, I was kind of upset, but I'm happy they did. We're heading bounce. Because you gotta crawl before you can walk, of course. Let's go now. And this is the kind of stuff that prepares you for the next level. So whether it is you're at home, you're like, someday I'd like to actually block somebody, or you're just like, I wanna finish the prospect path. I wanna get my output score up and my punch count up. I wanna finish all the paths. This is gonna help you prepare to do that. This is preparing you to do that. Ready, and go. Good, bounce. And go. You do this drill right here, over the course of just a month, right? And you spread out the session. You'd be so surprised at how much easier it gets over time. It's like anything. Running, anything you do, you put that work in, you get better over time. And rest. I personally would do a drill just like this when I was training for fights. About two or three times a week. Usually stacked on other kinds of training. I'd either start my training with a drill like this or end it. Three, two, one, bounce. Take it off. I'll play that next one and go. And bounce for five seconds. 30 seconds, let's go. Easy work, finish strong. Keep going now. Five seconds, dig it out, keep that technique in check, two, and one. And that is the classic one-two drill, the open version. I want you to do that a couple times a week if you can, challenge yourself, and it'll start to feel easy. Then I want you to graduate to the intermediate version. I always want you to mix in the classic one-two drill into your training, even if it's only like once a week or once every two weeks, because it's so important for maintaining proper punching there. Okay, so hey. Until next time. So listen, I just want to say thank you for giving me five minutes of your time, baby. So I'm not going to waste no time. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to start off with high... Welcome back to our Fight Camp Sprint Series. Today we got another tough one for you. This is a drill that I used to do personally back at Boston Boxing. What it is, it's an interval-based drill where you throw as hard and as fast as you can for 10 seconds, and then you take five seconds off. You do that for five minutes straight. So today we have with us Coach Shane Smash. We have 2012 Olympic bronze medalist from the Ukraine, Taras Shevostuk. And we have Coach Andre Hitman Hushman. 